is cool. So Kamal in Denver's Rhino area, they've partnered with Focus Point, a nonprofit that serves families in Denver, providing culinary and business skills. And every month they put on this really cool exclusive dinner where all the proceeds benefit Focus Points. Well, this month's dinner happening tonight, it features a pretty big local chef. <laughs> you may have seen him on the most recent season of Top Chef or where you beat Bobby Flay. <laughs> I took him out, brought it home for the. He uh, needs it. I think he needs it every once in a while. You know, you got to keep him in check. And you That's brought right. your mom with you too. I did. That's I awesome. Did. How are you, mom? I, the first question I asked mom is, he's been cooking for a long time. But what was your answer? He's been eating for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. But you've inspired his cooking. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Well, and so, brother, this is a cool, cool event because not only are you guys there cooking, but it's table side. People get to sit there at your so table. Interactive. I know it's sold out tonight, but is that cool for you as a chef? It's, you know, it's special. When I, when I was able to do Top Chef, we were introduced to Kamal. Uh, one of the episodes was Cooking Heritage. Yeah. And that, that really uh, touched me because they, they told their story, they shared their story, and it made me dig deep to cook my dish. And, and the dish that I'm sharing tonight is actually a dirty rice dish. Uh, we're doing it my style, but. Uh, it kind of brought back memories of my parents and yeah. and you know what connected me to that dish. So I'm really excited to be able to partner. And then my mom gets to be my sous chef tonight. That's awesome. <laughs> What's that like, mom? I'm actually making the crab cakes. You're not oh. taking orders from this guy, are you? Well, he's the chef, so yes. <laughs> All right. So what's in here? How, what's your spin on this dish? Yeah, the story uh, behind so it. the the story behind the dirty rice was uh, when I was in fifth grade, I was asked to. Uh, put together a school project. Uh, we were going to get a recipe from home, something from your heritage. Uh, I asked my father for a recipe. Uh, being a uh, Creo, he gave me his dirty rice recipe. Yeah. And Classic, I remember right? being so embarrassed because it had like livers and gizzards and <laughs> none of it was fancy. Everyone else had snickerdoodles. <laughs> and uh, and uh, my father passed away three weeks later. It was, it was very sudden so and it's, it's one of the only recipes that I have of his. Wow. So, um, as a chef, I was able to actually re-explore that dish um, on the show, and now I've come up with my own version. So, I like farro grain. I think it's a little bit heartier, has a little okay. more flavor profile. That's this right here, right? That's the farro grains yeah. cooked with the trinity, the mm -hmm. celery, the bell pepper, the onion, the garlic. Uh, there's some ground liver, some ground uh, pork, all worked in there, a little bit of chopped herbs, some beer, cool. and then we finished it off with uh, a little bit of stock. So, Where'd you grow up? Uh, I grew up in San Francisco, uh, Bay Area. Went to school in Arizona, and I've, I've really just kind of spent most of my time here in the in the Southwest. So you know, I fell in love with Colorado, and I don't think I'm ever leaving. And his restaurant is down in the Springs. Obviously, right. it's a lot easier for folks here in Denver if you want to go and uh, see him. Of course, if you got tickets for tonight, I, think so, man. I like his style. <laughs> oh, geez, Greg, myself, not sharing with anybody. You know that whole term, ladies first. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Sam, you want some? Greg's obviously a child. <laughs> I, know, all, I do want to try yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. Pass me a spoon here. There you go. All right. So if people can't come out tonight, if they don't have tickets, uh, how can they support this cause? Oh, please, this is a really please cool cause. come check out Komal. Uh, it's it's a learn to earn program for for uh, women, ethnicities, uh, minorities. They're they're doing amazing things there. Yeah. You can taste the the, the, the Latin food uh, during the week. You can taste the Syrian on Friday. Um, oh, I even cool. heard about Ethiopian coffee on Thursday afternoon. Ooh, nice. <laughs> so you got to get up there in the Rhino District and come check it out. Komal is absolutely amazing. Can I, can I get that so back? if folks did not get their tickets to see you tonight, you are down in the Col I'm, Colorado yeah. Springs. I'm, I'm, Where, I'm, yeah. I'm in Colorado Springs. Uh, I'm right on North Tejon, uh, so right downtown. Come and see you yeah, come see me tonight. down at four. We're always cooking up some fun stuff mm -hmm. there. So it is Mom. so flavorful. And this dish is on the menu. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. And Mom, whip them into shape. Don't take orders. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We got to run, guys. We'll see you back for our next newscast at 11 o'clock. Have a great Wednesday.